Hey, Board of Directors, I know this is uh, kind of a unique way for me to bring a message to you, but um, God's really been laying something on my heart lately, and I just wanted to um, just to come to you with a challenge. Um, first of all, I know I probably, there's nothing else I can say about how awesome things are going right now at ISF. Our summer has been phenomenal. We have seen things this summer that have just been tremendous. We've just had um, so many successful projects, and, and you're going to hear more about those a little bit later. But what I wanted to talk to you about was, I know in our board meeting, we've, we've talked about the possibility of doing a business luncheon or doing some kind of banquet or something, maybe to do some fundraising. And, you know, on one hand, everything at ISF right now is on fire. Everything is so exciting, but also it's very scary for me right now when I look at the finances. And so um, the other day I was driving home to Florida to be with my family and I just kind of started thinking like you do when you drive and thought, you know, man, we're just, we really need some kind of new challenge to, to really get our fundraising where it needs to be. And I'm just really concerned about a uh, some kind of luncheon or thing like that that's going to take so much time to put together. And it's so, so much further down the road than, than what we're needing right now. And so as I was driving along, I thought about the mountain climb and I thought, man, that was an incredible challenge to, to take those 24 people. And when we presented them with the idea of raising $10,000 a piece, they were like, yeah, let's do it. And they just accepted that challenge and they did it. And when I think about the bike ride, the same thing, the, the mountain didn't have anything to do with climbing a mountain. It was the challenge of the situation and it, and it compelled people to act. It gave them a call to action to support um, these people that were going to climb this mountain. And the same with my bike ride. It didn't have anything to do with riding 3,000 miles on a bicycle. It had everything to do with I was so crazy I was going to do this crazy thing to support this organization that I believe in with all my heart and people were compelled to act. They were compelled to give just because of the challenge. And so as I was driving along and I thought, you know, of all the time in the history of International Sports Federation, this board of directors is by far the dream team of any board that we've ever had. You guys are are thinking, successful, awesome, just incredible people that God has brought together to be our current board of directors at International Sports Federation. And I thought, you know, this this group of people is is phenomenal with a phenomenal sphere of influence around each one of you. And so as I was driving along, I thought, you know what? We don't need some kind of gimmick mountain climb or bike ride. We just We just need the challenge because I know for me, if you just said the words, Cheryl, I challenge you, whatever that fill in the blank is, I'm listening because I love a challenge. I like to be pushed. I like to be challenged. So when you say I challenge you, whatever that is, you have my attention. And so I thought, you know, if we're just kind of walking around out there going, well, I'm part of this organization and we kind of need money and, you know, whatever, we're never going to get where we need to be. But I thought if we make a small window, 30 days from July 25th to August 25th and put out a challenge. Here's my challenge to you. I'm calling it the Founders Challenge. As the founder of International Sports Federation, I'm challenging you as a board member to raise $10,000 between July 25th and August 25th. And here's what that's going to do for us. Number one, it's going to get the pressure off for us financially because we really need to hire an administrative assistant to handle the Olympics. It is breathing down our neck. We're getting applications in every day but we don't have the funds to put the administrative help in place until a little bit later in the budget um, for the Olympics. So we really need to do that sooner rather than later. And we also need to hire a bookkeeper because we're talking about just the airfare alone for the Olympics is gonna be over a million dollars. We need a bookkeeper that can handle all the money that's gonna be coming and going throughout our organization. So that's what it's gonna do is help us get what we need done to move forward. The other thing it's going to do is get our staff moving around the country. We need to have a staff retreat to get our ducks in a row, and we need the funds to do that. We all need to get out to Dallas and spend some time together in a cabin and get everything lined out for the next 18 months because this is the biggest 18 months in the history of ISF. We've got to be ready for it. And the other thing that that's going to do is give uh, John and Brian and myself the money that we need to travel to recruit, to train, and to mobilize all these volunteers that we need to fill these trips. So we really need this money for those specific things. And here's my thought process behind it, is I would rather just rip the Band-Aid off. Let's focus in the next 30 days on you making some phone calls. I know for me, I'm gonna challenge myself to raise $10,000. 
So I am going to sit down and make my list of my 20 people that are in my sphere of influence because my people are going to give because of me. Your people are going to give because of you. So you need to look at your sphere of influence, find 10, 15, 20 people that you think could give $500 to $1,000 a piece to an organization that you fully believe in because we are on such the precipice of growth that we've never seen before. That is why we need this now. And it's an exciting time for us to challenge one another because here's the thing. I don't think any of you are really excited about dragging your buddies to a business luncheon with some sports speaker. I know that's kind of how it's always been done in the past, but I've always said I'd rather get the cup, one cup of coffee with the right person than do a 5K or a, a golf tournament or any of the other things that we traditionally do for fundraising because when you talk to the right person who believes in what you're doing, that's all you really need for them to invest in our organization. And so that's my challenge to you. Let's do this. For the next 30 days, we are going to all, as a board of directors, commit each of us to raise $10,000 for the organization. And you may be so busy, you just need to cut a check, whatever. That's awesome. But I want us all to give a focused effort for 30 days because we do need to eventually have a business luncheon. We do need to have a banquet. We do need to celebrate some of the things that we've accomplished as an organization. And that's all well and good down the line. We need to do some grant writing. Um, Ed and I have actually already started down the road with an organization to get some of those things in place. We need some long-term financial things to happen. But right now, this is what we need. This is the challenge before us. Because if we can all really commit to this next 30 days, raise this $10,000 a piece, we will be completely set for the next year. We won't have to worry about any kind of fundraising, any kind of things on the side, because we're just going to do it right up the middle. And it'll take the pressure off to try to find a speaker and get all our calendars together and find the good day. What day of the week's the best day? We don't know. All I need you to do is have coffee, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, play around the golf with the right people that are in your sphere of influence already. Let them know what's happening with ISF. And if you'll do that, I guarantee you we can raise this money. And here's what I'm going to do for you to make sure that happens. First thing I'm going to do is the minute you finish watching this video, I need you to email me and tell me that you're in, that you're willing to accept this challenge, accept this challenge, and I will send you an email immediately that can give you your elevator speech, the five points of how to how you're going to talk to people about ISF, why we're raising this money. I'm going to send you a hard copy of our newsletter, and then I'm going to start a trickle of, of emails, and you're going to learn why we started ISF. You're going to learn how what happens to a volunteer once they apply with us. You're going to learn what happens when a missionary wants a team to come and help them? How do they go about that process? You're going to learn about the paradigm shift in sports ministry around the world. You're going to become so well-versed in sports ministry by the end of this 30 days, you're probably going to want to take my job is basically what's going to happen because it's going to be so awesome. So that's what we're doing. It's called the Founders Challenge for the next 30 days. I'm going to need you to hit it hard. I'm going to need you to raise this money because you know what? I'm, I'm motivated. I'm energized right now. All we did was speak these words, and that is compelling us to action. That is our call to action, is we need this money because of what God's doing. We are on fire, and we need you to be a part of it. So, yeah, that's my challenge to you. Guys, let's get it done. Get on this email. Let me know you're in. I'll start sending you the emails so you can become well-versed in sports missions. Thank you all so much for listening to this. Let's go get them.